all right assalamu alaikum i hope you guys are doing great so today i am going to start my content series i've been trying to do it for a very long time but uh, you know trying when you try to be uh, when you try to be perfect you end up doing nothing so i thought let's let's start it whatever whatever it looks like whatever it feels like so my, uh, I want to start with open source tools and technologies. I want to start with something that will bring a lot of value for you guys. There are so many free tools and systems available that you can use at your disposal instead of going and paying for something which is uh, which will put a dent in your pocket. Now I know there are so many services that are free. Uh, but still, if you were a startup, every every penny counts. So today I'm going to talk about something called PHP List. And before that, as you can see, as you can read here, it's an email marketing software which is completely free, completely open source. Uh, you do need you do need to have some technical skills now uh, in order to use it. Now. What is email marketing software? It's just like MailChimp. Actually, MailChimp is much, much fancier it, and it's very user friendly. But the thing with MailChimp is that, let's say, if you have, if you go to the pricing and you have 10,000 contacts, so it will cost you $75 per month, so it should become uh, almost 281, uh, almost 300 reals. Uh, but the good thing about uh, this software, which is PHP List, you can send, uh, you can use it of, without paying anything. You just need to have a hosting, or you can use your own website hosting. It uh, works on Linux. It, if you have a GoDaddy hosting account, it can also work on that. Now, uh, I will not cover how to install this and how to use this software. Uh, but if you want, I can do another video on that. So just comment on the video below, and I can definitely make another video where I can show you how to install this. So I will just show you a demo. I have installed it on my server, and uh, we got into your main website. No, actually, I, this is not my. Yeah. So this is the link. Yours might be different. Of course, it will be different because you're not hosting on my domain. So I'll just log in. I think this is the, this is it. No, sorry, this one. Yeah. All right. This is the correct username and password. Okay. I'm using an. I'm not using the latest version. It's asking me to update. This is how it looks like once you, once you log into PHP List, you can import subscribers, add subscribers. The the great thing about PHP List is that uh, you can uh, actually add uh, plugins. Or they, they call it modules, which is something very amazing. Like for instance, uh, I, I can literally the beauty of open source is that there's somebody out there who have done something that will actually enhance the overall functionality of the system. And it's just actually exactly you just download that zip file and you upload it and that's it. It, it make, make it becomes part of the system. So th th this is something you can never do in Mailchimp or any other service provider because you only have to stick with the features that they're giving you, which which in most cases are more than enough. But when with PHP list, you can even write the code yourself if you're a coder, if you're a programmer. But if you're not, you can hire someone else and that person can add a, a new functionality. Now, I don't want to dig into detail in this video. I just want to show you what it can do for you. It can basically do all of the things that you can do using MailChimp, which is email marketing at the same time tracking uh, you can have as many subscribers as you want in, in thousands and in millions so it, it depends on how strong is your server if you're using GoDaddy you, it you won't have any problems you can have more than more than hundred thousand subscribers so you can manage subscribers see you can you can search for subscribers so these are pretty basic features 
uh, and you can also create new attributes like what is an attribute it's actually what it, what uh, what defines your subscriber like for, for instance full name is an attribute and uh, first name and last name is an attribute now I have created my custom attributes as well so for instance you can create a new attribute uh, uh, what I love about it is that you can uh, you can import anything maybe you, you got a list from your LinkedIn contacts and you can import them here I'm just trying to recall how was I, I was able to import I think here yes you have to click on import you can copy paste all the email then it will do the job for you or if you have a CSV file you can also do that uh, for instance if you go to your Google contacts you can export all your contacts into a CSV file and then you can simply import them here that would work okay I, I had a hard time in subscribe in, in importing like subscribers like I had nine thousand something about nine thousand of subscribers and it was taking a lot of time to import them and it was because my hosting was hosting was not that fast enough like of course MailChimp and other companies they have like pretty solid and fast computers mainframes and that that are very fast we cannot compare with them but those those servers they also take time they actually import import the file and they tell you that they will let you know by email once the file is uploaded but in uh, here it, it's kind of same but more slower it depends it honestly depends on how powerful the server is so I had a like I had to wait a lot to import like 9,000 subscribers and it totally depends how strong my server is which is not that in my case not very strong but if you have a strong server this can be this time can be reduced uh, other cool things about this PHP list is that it, it can give you all the statistics like how many people opened your email campaign and uh, you can actually uh, create campaigns just like MailChimp so I had a couple of test campaigns as you can see and then you can duplicate them you can filter them and it will give you overall statistics like how many people viewed them how many were unique to you how many were bounced what is bounced or actually how many how many uh, emails were rejected this is actually bounced and other cool statistics and you can always uh, enhance this functionality by looking for a plugin so I'll open the main website PHP list if you google it you will find the main official website all right and uh, if you go to let's say if you're if you want to find a plugin for PHP list you simply write PHP list and under the name of the functionality that you, that you want for example I want to integrate PHP list with Mailgun uh, I can find a plugin I'm actually using this plugin so uh, there all this the installation guidelines are here on the page for instance this plugin has a github page if I go to the page I can download the zip all right download the zip and then I will simply uh, all right I no matter how hard I try not to get into details I I end up doing it so uh, basically I don't want to show you right now but if you want I can do a video another video so basically what you do is you you can download the plugins and you can upload it to your hosting provider there is a folder for PHP list called plugins and simply just just like what you do in WordPress pretty good pretty amazing and uh, uh, you might have a question like what mail provider do you use it depends on you if you want to use your own hosting mail provider uh, what is a mail provider like see this this is PHP list itself is just a interface or it's a system but when you send emails you need to use a mail provider now sometimes your hosting service gives you a free mail service as uh, but you have to check with them because each mail service or mail provider service has their own limits me myself I use mailgun if you go to mailgun.com uh, which you can use for so many reasons not just for email marketing so it's actually for developers I'll go to Milton pricing yeah and uh, yeah so it's as you can see see it's it's completely free zero dollar per month for 10,000 email so 10,000 emails per month is pretty good like 
how, how many emails email like email addresses you have like probably thousand two thousand so you can send ten thousand emails uh, per month and uh, so it's very good like to to keep in touch with your customers now if you compare it with Mailchimp we'll go to pricing yeah, I'm, I was on the pricing page All right okay so it's free for up to 2,000 subscribers so if you have 2,000 subscribers and you do not want to go above 12,000 emails per month Mailchimp is absolutely a great option I, I wouldn't recommend going with PHP list because there is an there is an uh, there is time required to set it up and it can it can take ta days even if you're a technical person so if this if your requirements come under 2,000 subscribers and under 12,000 emails per month Mailchimp is pretty amazing uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say go for PHP less now that that would be crazy but if you're above this above these numbers like for instance let's say uh, 2,500 subscribers so you have to pay trade thirty dollars per month. Now I know that most of you, for most of you, it's pretty cheap. Like what the hell? Like only hundred rails per month. Now, but if you are someone who want to have the best, uh, you know, the best uh, out of every buck, then you can try with Mailgun because Mailgun gives you ten thousand emails per. Per month and uh, you can have as many subscribers as you want okay so it depends on what kind of pricing model you want to follow like mailgun is totally subscriber based like it, it, they, they charge you based on how many subscribers you have but if you're using PHP list you you will never pay uh, for the number of subscribers you have you only you only pay if you go above 10,000 emails okay now uh, I have another option for you guys I haven't tried it yet which is called Amazon email uh, if you're using yeah it's called Am Amazon simple email service so uh, it's if you're hosting if, if you're if you're hosting on your server on Amazon you can use Amazon simple email service for free up to I think 70,000 emails yes that was it uh, I read it somewhere let me show it to you all right maybe if you click click here no sorry if you click on features yeah or on pricing yeah I need more coffee yeah so yeah if you're on Amazon EC2 if you're using Amazon as your service provider as your hosting if you're hosting PHP list on Amazon you pay nothing for up to 62,000 emails per month all right and with additional 1,000 emails you just pay like 10 cents which is very cheap all right but the the, the requirement is that you should be you should have a PHP list hosted on Amazon and if you're sending it from if you're, if you're using your own hosting just like what I'm doing you pay for 10 cents for every thousand emails, which is still cheap all right uh, they ha they're also charging for receiving email I don't want to cover that one about if you there's another bonus for you which is that Amazon EC2 is has has a free trial for one year that's very very uh, don't call it free trial I don't know but I, I, I think it's a free trial and you can have 12 months for free you can have a hosting which is a basic hosting which is more than enough to run a email campaigner like PHP list even actually you can actually if you can optimize it very well you can host multiple websites it's free it's, it's free and I have used it before it's really amazing and uh, give it a try and uh, it's, it's actually very very easy to set up better better than any other actually it's the best in the class you know it's Amazon 
So yeah, guys, uh, it was my first video. I was just trying to add value to the community and I hope it helped. Do let me know in comments. Do please let me know uh, how can I improve this and uh, if you want me to talk about anything else, feel free to comment below. Thanks a lot for watching and have a lovely day.